First John chapter two. Verse 15, and it reads, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's people here for a bit. Just a for a bit, just a quick little hit. Love not the world. Okay? It ain't just talking about Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, money, cars, clothes, and holes. It's more things this part of the world that our people are loving, like different philosophies. Look, look, following a multitude to do evil. That's, that's part of the world. You see someone doing something, you ain't got to do it, Israel. Everybody drinking the juice. That's part of the world. Do not follow what the world is doing. The Lord said, love not the world. It ain't even Halloween yet. They got pumpkins everywhere, masking. Follow not a multitude to do evil. You, you keep forgetting that, right? What the scriptures say, First John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, Israel. Everybody trying to be famous. Everybody trying to be rich. Everybody trying to be an actor, a rapper. Which, which you know, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9, 24. So you got to do something wicked to get up into that fame. To get up into that world, man. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Once again, we said cars, money, cars, clothes, hoes. That's what they're doing it for. They're not trying to get famous, you know what I'm saying? They're not trying to get rich, you know what I'm saying? To help somebody. You see it from time to time. Look, look very, very few. It's, it's rare that an Israelite tries to get rich to actually help somebody. No. They're trying to get rich to be like somebody. And to and to make somebody else feel bad because they ain't rich like them. When the scriptures say strive not to be rich, got everybody getting ready. You know what I'm saying costumes everywhere, goons, goblins, spider webs hanging all around the crib. And then you got people already um selling Christmas trees already. That's part of the world. You got you got Israelites can try to convince or persuade other Israelites to take the juice. You don't follow those people. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you follow after the customs of these heathens, and, and in the same breath, you tell them you love the Lord, and if loving the Lord is wrong, then you don't want to be right, shut your mouth. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, because that's exactly what the world pushes, pride. They got a such thing called pride, man. You know what I'm saying? In all these different slangs and terms of pushing pride on you, right? It is it is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And this is the point. The world passes away, meaning this age, this rulership and its philosophies and its customs and its dogma and its doctrines pass away by, by how, how though? By way of fire and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they only call God in Jesus Christ, abide it forever. So it's about us doing what? Doing the will of the Father. I want to get this. I mentioned it. Let's get Exodus right quick. Everybody didn't grow my father out to this devil, man. And you know he most definitely of the world. Exodus 23. Exodus 23. And 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. When you love in the world, and you practice in the customs of the world, do you know that's evil? You see? All it, all it promotes is wickedness, adultery, you know what I'm saying, drugs, straight lewdness, or little, little rebelliousness. Oh yeah, you got our people practicing witchcraft. That's part of the world. Being witches and warlocks, warlocks, witches, whichever one you want to put before, before each other. You see? The scriptures say, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Just because you see, oh yeah, voting. Can't forget that voting and whatever brothers can think of, put it in the comment board if I didn't name them. Voting. You got a people voting. Like that's going to help you out. That ain't going to help you out. You look, look where, look where voting got you. Nowhere. You know, 
that should not follow a mother to do evil, just like these basketball players. Everybody submitting to the juice because of that money. Can't live without that money. Well, we're living in a time where you got to make a life uh, making decision, man. It's either follow the Lord or follow the devil. You see, neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So when we bring out the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, what do our people do? They fight against it, man. When the Lord says you should, because when you wrestle something, that means you're fighting it. Don't fight against the word. The words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, not grievous. But it is to a person that has forsaken the way. The Israelites that ain't thinking about the Lord, of course, when we bring out this word, it's going to grieve It's going to grieve them, man. They're going to get angry. They're going to get pissed off. Because this word cuts. James 4. And 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? You make yourself an enemy of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. When you become friends of the world, just got to rub elbows with the upper class, right? With the upper echelon, right? Just got to rub elbows with them, right? And all their ways is filthy. It's all no what? You make yourself an enemy when you try to live that lifestyle. See, we're supposed to be content. Got to keep bringing that word out. We're supposed to be content. The Israelites give me neither poverty nor riches. You see how people suddenly sold for fortune and fame, getting their um, family members whacked off. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High, man. All right? So a whole lot of Israel. And this lesson is for the Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So you got a whole lot of Israelites. They done made themselves an enemy to the Heavenly Father. And it's only begotten son of enemies. You see? And then the scripture say, can't know. You can't beat the Lord. You got our people walking around like they tough, like they thug. You can't beat the Lord. St. John 15. You, can't, you cannot beat the Lord, man. Let's see. And oh yeah, and one thing, one thing about these uh, rich people, all of them are cutthroat. Every last one of them are cutthroat. You see, I started. I started eighteen. Saint John fifteen eighteen. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. You see those looks that we get. You know what I'm saying those stares. Those negative words and th 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 um, negative thoughts that people think about us for teaching the word. You would, you would say they hate me, man. Why they hate me? Well, the Lord said they hated me before they hated you. You see? They hate us because we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? And I'm watching the news now, celebrating safely. Celebrating. Hey, you can't celebrate Halloween safely. That's, a, that's an abomination. That's a wicked, filthy act, man. So how can you celebrate that simply? Why? Because you stay off the streets. And then you're taking candy, you know what I'm saying, from somebody that you don't even know. And, and plus it's wicked. It promotes goons and goblins and witches. 19. If you are of the world, the world will love its own. So you got the, you got the juice and the unjuice. You know what I'm saying? If you was of the world, we, we, if we had the people, oh yeah, can't forget, you know what I'm saying, the worldly thing is to tattoo yourself to death. You see? That, that thought culture, that's part of the world. Israel, you know, you know what's right from wrong. If you are of the world, the world will love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And that goes for these false prophets too. Now they got a George Floyd big ass memorial. Big giant head, a golden head. Then they got that mayor, you know what I'm saying? They didn't never do nothing for our people. That senator or whatever. And then they got that woman. All that is part of the world, man. The Lord said he had chosen us out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you, man. Family members, co-workers, people in society. We don't do the things that they do. Therefore, they hate us. Because why? The Lord chose us out of the world. And it's a beautiful thing, too. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to not be amongst these people, man. Ble blessed are they. Look, look, matter of fact, let's get this. Let's go on and get it right quick. What is it, um, Luke? Like I said before, a quick little lesson through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah, Lord, one of the elect is edified. Love not the world. All right? St. Luke 6. St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. And it reads, Blessed are ye when men shall, shall hate you. Remember, the Lord said they're going to hate you 
because you're not nothing like them. You used to be like them, but now that the Lord has separated you from them, they're looking at you like, and say, ready to take your head off. The Lord said, blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall approach you and cast out your name as evil. For the son of man said, you don't want to take that juice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking at you evil. Like something wrong with you. Rejoice in that day. You don't want to go to the Christmas party, the Thanksgiving. You don't want to hang out. You know what I'm saying? Eat turkey. You don't want to put on them Halloween masks or step down the street looking crazy. It's on no way. They're going to hate you, right? But the Lord said, what? Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers and to the prophets. So the true prophets of the Lord, they was hated. They was ridiculed. They was mocked. The Lord separated, separated, separated them from the world, man. And it, it's a beautiful thing to not be amongst these, these worldly people, man. Romans 12. Let's blow it up some. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, man. Okay? Don't be joined with these people. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see the, the world of people doing certain things. You know not to do it. We know not to do it. Right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The scriptures will disturb your pure mind by, by way of remembrance of how to act according to the Bible. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. And loving the world and the things of the world, it ain't it, man. Remember, gifts and I, uh, what does it say? Presence and gifts, you know what I'm saying? Blind the eyes of the wise, man. You know. Take, take this money, you know what I'm saying? Take this, um, this juice, you know what I'm saying? You know, take this Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna give you a check. Promote, promote this Kool-Aid and I'm gonna give you a check. Man, it's all part of the world, man. You see? To be carnally minded is enmity with the most high. Just remember that. Look, look, use the world, but don't abuse it. Shalom.